What's up guys, welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. My name is Ruben and today we're gonna to be doing a custom build. So let's get into the warehouse and pick out all the parts. All right guys, now we're in the warehouse. So let's go pick out the first part. This first part was picked out by my girlfriend. Shout out to my girlfriend. She picked the grip tape for me. So this whole color scheme is gonna be based off of this grip tape. And the grip tape I'm going with is going to be this uh, Mob Nora grip tape. A lot of purple in it. it, looks really cool. And to go with all of this purple, we're going to be using the Vault Velocity V2 headset in a neochrome. Most of you already know that it has purple accents in it, so that should go good with the grip tape. The next part's gonna be the wheels. I know in our most recent custom build off, they already used the Proto Starbrights, but I'm personally in love with these neo blue ones, so I'm gonna be choosing these. They look pretty sick, blue on silver. For the fork, I'm gonna be using a North LH fork in matte silver. Sick looking fork, looks like a, the old school Lucky SMX fork, so you'll see that in a second. Actually, since we're already here, let's go with the grips. I'm gonna use these purple ethic grips. I use these in a green colorway, comfortable, I like them a lot, so definitely recommend these. Let's go with the bars next. I'm going to be using the all new Affinity raw Y bars. I still have to pick up one of these for my scooter. I'm just in love with this raw colorway and the Affinity logo right there in the crossbar. Such a sick touch to it. So gonna be using these. These are also standard, which means we're gonna be using SES compression. So let's pick the clamp next. Proto Sentinel clamp in a purple colorway. You already know I'm going with that perp. For the deck, I'm going to be using the Urban Art Butter Deck in a raw colorway or silver, 22 inches long by 5.5 inches wide. So good sizing right here. That's pretty much it. Let's go back into the studio now and get to building. What's up guys, we're back in the studio now. Let's go over the parts one more time. So starting at the top, we have the purple Ethic Grips. Moving down, we have the raw Affinity Y bars. After that, we have the purple Sentinel SES clamp. Then we have the Vault Velocity 2 headset. Under that is the North LH fork. And then after that, we have the Proto Starbright sliders in a neo blue colorway. And then we have the Urban Art Butter Deck in a 22 inch long by 5.5 inch version. And on top of that will be this purple Mob Nora grip tape. So with all that being said, let's get building. I'm gonna be starting with gripping the deck. So let me move all of this out of the way. For this build, I am going to be taking off the brake. It will come with the order if you do happen to purchase this build, but I just personally like to run my scooters without a brake. So this only needs one bolt from the top. It's a little four millimeter. The cool thing about this deck is that it offers two brake holes. So that means you can slide your deck forward to run bigger size wheels, or you can slide it back to run smaller size wheels. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a full deck. So from the front weld all the way to the back end, I took out the dropouts too. So I'll see if I can get this little groove that cuts down right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Boom, easy peasy. Let's get to it. All right, the first step is taking this off the grip tape. I'm sure that'll look good right there. Cool. All right, so luckily here in the studio, we have one of these mob grip rollers. I always use this whenever I put on some new grip tape. You can buy this from us off our website. Definitely helps to get all those air bubbles out and make sure your grip tape is flat on top of your deck. Cut out this part around the head tube. Wow, this is like the first time I grip a scooter deck in a while. I haven't done a custom build in some time. And the last time I switched grip tape out on my deck was a while ago, so hopefully this comes out good. Cut a little corner piece right there, corner piece right there. All right, I'm gonna be using this mob grip file tool to file down the sides. comes down to about like right here. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem right here. Boom. All 
Wipe this off real quick so we don't scratch up the bottom of the deck with all this grip, grit that fell off. Oh, still have to file this part. Almost forgot about that. With that being filed down, let me just start getting this excess grip tape off. Nice, make sure this is. Be a little aggressive with it, but you just want to make sure it's actually filed down because if it isn't and you try to run a blade through it, it can end up tearing your grip tape or worse, just really messing it all up. Also want to bend it up a little bit so that the blade slides exactly where it was filed. All right, let's see. Not bad, I'll tell you what. All right, let me get this front end now. Boom, just clean up the ends a little bit. Yeah, we'll just cut that off, make it easier. Let's see how well this one does. like so. Boom. All that's missing now is this front part. This is just a trick that I do when I'm cutting out this front piece around the head tube. I just mark a little spot where the welds end and just cut directly across. The same thing on the other side. Just follow that line you made on the front. Just come around. Boom. Now you got your little outline, so. Not bad. That is the grip tape job. I'm pretty hyped on it. Not bad for my first time gripping in a while, so let's keep going. Let's get this back wheel on, put these dropouts back in. So that's pretty cool. These dropouts on the Urban Art Deck come with sorta pre-installed spacers. Just drop that dropout in. It already has spacers sticking out, so run the wheel through and slide your axle through, which makes it so much easier. Less parts to think about when you're assembling your scooter, less parts that can get lost while assembling your scooter, so. Shouts out to Urban Art for making it easier for us. All we gotta do is just Boom. Shouts out to North 2 making it easy for us to assemble the scooter. All it takes is one tool as well because on the other side of the fork, it already holds the nut for you. Slide this in. Screw it on slightly like that, then push the bolt back in. Just position this. Perfectly holds it in place for you. All you gotta do is Put a little pressure on it while you're tightening this side of the bolt. It's that easy. So, so far for this build, we've only needed to use a blade and one Allen key. So it's making it easier for you guys to build scooters nowadays. All right, the compression, compression ring goes on the top. Put the bottom bearing in. Damn, I am hyped on this. This is gonna look really good. Nice and smooth like, boom, perfectly sits on top right there. Now let's get this purple Proto Sentinel clamp. I personally use this on my setup. It's been one of the strongest clamps that I've ever ridden. And I also like it for the look of it. It looks like an old school Trojan mask. Loosen that up a little bit. Pop that in. Got enough clearance for the bolt. So this should work perfectly fine. All we gotta do now is just screw this in from the top. Once it starts making contact, you can double check your clamp and wheel are both straight. Hold it from the clamp. Give it a little bit more of a tighten. 
Runs perfectly good now. All right, so that is the bottom half of the scooter. It's already looking really sick to me. All of the accents from the wheels to the clamp resembles all of the color accents in the grip tape, so super hyped on that. All that's left now is to put these purple grips on these affinity bars and put the bars on the scooter. All right, let's get these bar ends out. Start with one grip at a time. Oh, I also do this on my scooter. So usually you run this thicker side on the outside of the grip, but I like to run it on the inside. Makes me feel like I have a little bit more control since the grip is a little bit thicker. So let me add that trick to this custom build. Thicker side on the inside. Move that back just a little bit. Perfect. Boom, perfectly. Another little lub tap. All right, so sometimes if your bars don't really slide in perfectly, see like they're, they're trying to go in, but it's still a little too tight, you can use this trick where flip your clamp bolt around, run it through the other side. All you'll need is some sort of a coin. You can use a penny or you can use a, a compression washer. Slide that in between screw and the clamp. Boom, perfectly. It'll hold it in place like that. And you'll be able to tell that the, the clamp just stretches open. You don't want to do it so aggressively, just do it slightly, that's gonna do it. Boom. Perfectly slid in. You can double check by making sure your clamp is meeting your compression washer all the way at the end, which mine is, so this thing is good to go. And now with the bars in the clamp, all that's left to do is tighten up the clamp bolts. Make sure you're tightening the bolts evenly from top to bottom. Just give it an even amount of spins. It'll help your clamp compress evenly all the way down onto your bar. Boom. That's gonna do it right there. Super hyped on how it came out. I was unsure if the, the blue Starbright wheels was gonna throw it off, but it honestly came out pretty good with it. The purple grips on the bars, the, the raw bars looks really good with the silver deck. All the purple accents look really good with the headset. All of it just ties in so good with the grip tape. Super hyped on this custom build. Hopefully one of you guys buys it out there, but I know you guys wanna know how this scooter sounds, so let's go give it a drop test. Boom, exactly like I expected it to be. Sounds perfectly dialed. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to click that bell notification so that you know when we upload any more videos. Hopefully you guys like this custom build. Once again, I'm Ruben Rodriguez from the Vault Pro Scooters and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.